have it. So you have now got a trench around the building. So if anyone wants to blow up into like this top part here now, then they would have to stack sand up all the way from bedrock with a cannon. And that sand would have to be stacked all the way up here before they could then put a TNT and sand together and blow into the main area here. Now what you would do as well when you have finished digging your trench before you water it what you would actually do is you go around slabbing it all like this as well all the way around your trench at the bottom. Now the reason you would do this is because if someone fires sand down your trench now, what's going to happen? That. The sand disappears. So they can't even stack sand anymore. So for them to be able to stack sand around this base now, they would have to blow in down low where the bedrock is, and they'd have to blow up your slabs to then be able to go up high to build another cannon to start s stacking the sand and all in this meantime you could be coming online finding out that you're being attacked by your uh, enemies you can be out there fixing your base um, attacking your enemies fixing the slabs at the bottom of the uh, trench attacking your enemies cannons whatever you need to do to stop them attacking you then you know mm. but That is how to build a basic base. You're going to have quite a lot of defences now against any ra want to be raiders, um, unless they're experienced raiders. Not a lot of people can build cannons that are necessary to do the sand stacking and etc. So this will be very protected. The best place, the most well defended place in this base now, is now the top of the base because up here is where they would have to stack the most sand to get there so you'd probably want to have your vault at the top there or something like that let's clear that weather up, we don't want that thunderstorms going so that's how to build a basic base so from then on guys what you'd do is you'd keep building outwards more and more walls. So, so your next wall would be here. And then the next one there. And then the next wall. Next trench. So your base would actually end up coming out quite far. Generally bases will have three, four, five walls on them. And as I say, you can build them in different materials to make them stronger as well. Your first wall you might make out of cobble. Your second you might make out of end stone. Uh, you can make fence walls, potion brewing stand walls, obsidian walls. And they all have different properties and different defensive capabilities. Uh, you could probably look up different walls and stuff on YouTube. There's lots of videos about it. But for today, guys, I think we're about done. Now that um, now that you've built your base as well, your first skin, you'd probably want to go out and titillate your claims up a bit. Um, let me have a look. So out here, So you'd want that claimed. Can I get to the walls there? Yes, you'd want that claimed.
So you do that each way round. Ah, so as you can see, I've run out of power now. Um, I've only got 30 power in my faction at the moment. But, that's how it'd go anyway. Um, I hope you've got a lot of ideas off of this today. I know it's gone on a little while. I didn't expect it to be this long. It'll probably end up being a, a two-part episode, this one. But that's the basics of how to build your base anyway. Oh, one more thing I do want to say as well is you might want a second roof on. So now you've built that first roof there, you've got it all watered and stuff like that. that with one wall and then another wall and once you've got three four walls up then you're going to be a very safe base there won't be a lot of people that can raid you successfully get out <laughs> okay well that's it for today anyway guys i hope it's helped you all a lot i'm crazy gamer and uh, if you like this video Please hit the like button and subscribe and I'll be back next time with episode 4 of Crazy Gamers Minecraft Factions Guide. Take care everyone and bye bye.